What's up guys, it's Neeks. I'm here with my first tutorial. Today I wanted to show you a really cool way to edit your photos with what Photoshop already provides. We will be using a LUT that comes with Photoshop as well as some adjustment layers. So jumping right into it, we will be using Camera Raw to begin with. The photo for today's tutorial is one I shot last year for a cigar magazine with Sean Diddy Combs. Let's see what we are dealing with here. So this photo was shot one two hundredth of a second, ISO 640, and I believe I was using a manual lens, so I think it was around four or five aperture. The first thing I like to do when opening the photo in camera raw, so switch the camera profile to a flat image. So I go into camera calibration and then under camera profile, I'm going to choose MCC log Canon EOS 5D Mark III. And this is um, my camera profile that I currently include um, with my business. Um, I'll put a link in the description. So what it does is kind of turn this image kind of flat, but in reality, it boosts the dynamic range so I'm able to get more shadow information and uh, highlight information from the camera. So like I said you could download this camera profile for free from my business My Cinecolor. I will have a link in the description. After we apply the flat profile the next step is to try to get a white balanced image. So we take the eye drop tool this one I could hit I and then you want to look around for a, a neutral color in the image. So I'm going to kind of choose click and hold and uh, select that area because it's kind of a grayish. After we get an image that we like, then we adjust the exposure. So I kind of try to keep this. I look at the histogram and kind of like look in the middle. <clears throat> so kind of like stay like around there. So it sets right in the middle. After that, then we pull down the highlights to get more information out of the camera. And then we boost up the shadows. Bring these down a little bit. And then I'm going to boost up my whites just enough so they're not crushed. You can kind of tell right over here in this area. That's where I'm kind of looking at. Just enough so it doesn't crush. And then same goes with the shadows or the blacks. See how it kind of crashes right here? Try to keep that right there. And then throw in some vibrance and saturation if you want. And then after that, I add my contrast so it kind of spreads out. Just do one little adjustment right there. Bring down the highlight. And then after that, I like what I see. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift and then click open object. See how that changes. So if you need to make any adjustments in camera raw again, then you, you're able to go back in. So it's going to open an object. All right, and then we go into adjustments. And the first thing we're going to do is apply a LUT from Adobe Photoshop. And it should, you guys should have this one too if you're working with uh, Photoshop CC. Um, it's called Fuji 250D, and it says Fuji 3510. It's the first one. Apply that. <clears throat> I like what I see, but I'm still going to make some final adjustments. So the next thing we do is go into color balance, and I'm going to pull down this drop down menu and go into shadows. I'm just going to play a little bit. I want the shadows to kind of have a bluish greenish tone, like this little more blue. I like that so far. And the mid-tones, a little warmer, but not too red. Just kind of see what I'm playing with here. Just to add a little bit more contrast and style. 
The next adjustment I'm going to apply is our curves layer. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option, click Auto, then it brings up some options. So I'm going to just play with these. I like this one, Enhance Per Channel Contrast. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. So I'm going to pick this little hand picker tool and then kind of mm -hmm. click on this highlight because it is a little too high still and bring it down just a little bit. Maybe some of the shadow. Not too much though. Go ahead and turn that on and off. I like what I see so far. Go back to adjustments and then go into contrast. Just apply a little bit more contrast. Okay. And then from there, and just for the tutorial purpose, I'm just going running through this real quick. But I like what I see so far. The colors are true. There's just some sort of look or style. Then I'm going to hold down Command, Command Alt Shift E, which kind of merges everything together. And then let's go into Filter. Let's do some sharpening. Sharpen more. See the difference right there? That should be good. And I'd say for the time that we took on this, I think that's a good uh, little edit. So there you go, using a Photoshop LUT, which is free, and applying some adjustment layers real quick. Thank you. And like always, give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. There's going to be more tutorials. I'm going to do reviews on products. If you guys have any requests, let me know. And thank you and good luck.